Hi, I'm Matthew Ashley and welcome to Blackwell Global's Daily Market Update. Starting with the euro and the pair went surging higher, closing some 100 pips up at around the 1.0982 mark. The move stemmed from the combination of declining political risk within the EU and also some buoyant retail sales results, which beat estimates at 0.3%. Moving ahead, French political news will remain worth watching, but the US unemployment data shouldn't be ignored. Turn to the dollar yen now and the pair's recent tranche of gains came to an end as it cooled off slightly and closed lower at the 112 spot 44 mark. The slip can primarily be attributed with the flow of capital from the US dollar back to European markets, but the somewhat mixed US economic news also played a role in suppressing the pair. Looking forward, the US ADP NFP figure and the unemployment rate should be monitored. Finally, the Aussie dollar remained under pressure as a number of Australian fundamental news items proved disappointing. In particular, a 1.1% contraction in the HIA new home sales figure and a softer than anticipated trade balance of $3.11 billion saw a spike in negative sentiment despite the broader swing against the US dollar. As for the final session of the week, watch the RBA's monetary policy statement closely. Well, that's all I have for you today. It's been Matthew Ashby with Blackwell Global's Daily Market Update.